All right, so this is going to be my second attempt. This is going to be my second attempt to show you this process of doing this sentiment. Um, so I did some of my trades, and I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and kind of do fucking do the step by step sort of thing. Um, the video I had made before ended up not getting uh, just cut off. I had made a mistake and closed the screen, closed the screen or just the screen. And cut the video off almost 20 minutes into it, so I couldn't. Anyway, um, this could be much quicker. It shouldn't be 20 minutes. I don't think so. But, um, all right, so basically it's very simple. I head over to my FX. Okay, it says market sentiment. And I'm clicking these, right? And I basically record each one. Uh, I usually have the buy, I say, like, for example, this will say 3070. This will say 4159, uh, 496. Always put the long in front, bid ask. The long, the buy, and first, and then the sell, right? Buy first and you sell. 66, 34, uh, 3169. The, the, how do you say this? The way it works is the smaller side okay is the winning side and that's basically how i'm going to trade so you see how this is like okay 49 right the long so it's going to continue to go all the way wherever it's going to go um so if we can find one like uh the, no wait a minute I'm trying to find one that went f gone for a while see the, these just started so some of these kind of just started, so they're not in the hundreds and 200 pips and whatnot. But once it gets there, you know, for the um, you know, pairs like NZD, USD, GBCHF, uh, Euro NZD, not the exotic pairs, right? Cross pairs, uh, the majors, um, you know, they're probably going to be going, you know, you're going to see profits of like this, you know, 802 pips a thousand before it begins to go the other way so this has been going a little bit longer so all right now i've recorded these right here i put in each one typed them up and then i made the color for what i'm going to trade it's going to be short because this one is from i can you can pick any of these days but i just kind of a gap here like a three-day gap so uh so it says pivot q right here this q right three days middle of the week so let myself know that i use the middle of the week is three days not the weekend right uh but anyway so he said 5149 it went 6535 this side where the buy side okay it's buy sell how that's how it's done this has gone up, so that means that the cells are getting stronger. In my eyes, the cells are getting stronger. It's contrary in trading. It's contrary because the majority are usually wrong. And then I understand the the actual math and science behind that, but I don't, I'm not going to explain that. You don't. It's not important that you know that part, but um, yeah, maybe I'll do a video like going like deep and explaining why it moves the way it does and how it can't be any different just a feature of mathematics so anyway um and then this one was down that one was up because see it said 41 right it said 37 on this side that's that's lower right then strong the buys on this side the side's getting stronger whatever side's going down that side's getting stronger right so i'll put go in this is an example i'll show you well, I'll, afterwards, I'll show you the, the the live trades that are going. Restart. Uh, I'll show you the live trades that I put in already. But right now, I'm just gonna enter these for the demo. Uh, just give you a just. It's a really simple simple demonstration. All right. So let's close that. All right, and the way I get set up, um, I'll have this 
over here and I'll have this in view um, oh no I hope it didn't stop my uh, It shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, we're still here. We're still going. Whoops. I saw five minutes. Okay. Um, have to be careful. All right. So you want to take this, freeze it up, so when you scroll over you can see, all right? So what I'll do is I'll take the side my side. So what you want to do, the way the math works, so I can show you the math. Um, just so I can show you the math. Think about it like, let's say for instance, you're, 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 you're trading you may be conservative and maybe you do like two lots on a hundred thousand dollars or maybe four trades at two lots or something like that um what i do is decide my lots like i think about how to trade like, like if i did it like a normal trade right how many lots would i use for that account so let's say like it's a hundred thousand account i would use maybe on a, on one trade I probably lose like use like four lots, right? So it's gonna be four divided by how many pairs that I'm gonna trade. And I think it's twenty six. I'm not even gonna count it. it. Might be twenty four or twenty six. It says twenty six. That means that each pair I'm gonna uh the lot size is gonna be zero point one five. So I'm just gonna do it on here. I'm gonna change this to zero point one five. All right. And I'm gonna bring that up. And I'll just go on down the list, right? And you have to do them. And when you, the, you do not have to use stop losses because you're gonna, these are gonna be simultaneous, so they're already correlated, okay? And they're gonna kind of bolster up each other. And what it's gonna do is the aggregate, okay, the total amount of trades, because you're moving in the direction of the traders, that way they're actually doing. Like for example, just because you see a buy here, right? Doesn't mean it's going straight up or anything. It might be going like zig zig zag, barely going up or something. It might be right. You can't tell sometimes which direction is really going. Like, what is this, what is this really doing? The sentiment is going to tell you really, really what's going on. Now people are changing their positions. What their positions are actually doing. Which way is it moving? Are they moving towards the buy or the sell? Right. So I want to go in the opposite direction of the way that they're going. So that's why I have buy and sell. Right. And I just made it into a system where you don't think about it. It's simplified. Right. So it's going to be like this. So, so, buy, so, so, CAD CHF to buy, CAD JPY to buy, CHF JPY to buy, your AUD, buy also, buy also. Buy also, this is going to be a sell. You move on down, your NTD is going to be a buy. And I kind of look at the group and I say, okay, all the GBPs that I'm going to use, they're going to be buys. So I don't have to really look back and forth as long as I'm on the GBP pairs that I normally uh, trade. GBP JPY, GBP NTD, uh, GBP USD. I think I don't have all the pairs here. I guess I do have it on the demo account. Uh, sell and did you cat sell and did you CHF sell and did you JPY is a buy? And now, doesn't matter what's wrong or what's right, what happens is the ones that are going in the wrong direction aren't going to be moving as quickly as the ones that are going in the right direction. So, so wait, I think I made a mistake. I was busy talking. CHF is about yes, I made a mistake. So we're going to close that. We're going to close that. 
concentrate so I don't make a mistake. You can always just quickly close them and just switch it up. So uh, double check, um, put them in order. Uh, this is incorrect, right? No, this is correct. I mean, sorry, this is correct. Correct, 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 correct. No, I made a mistake in here somewhere while I was talking. But that's all correct. All right, and here's the way it should look. And I put my profit at the top. You start getting like one up there, you know, two. It goes three. Now, the way you'll test this is you're going to see kind of if it's good. I mean, you have an idea in your head for, okay, how much are you willing to lose in your head if you're looking at the balance? Um, but it should go, uh, depending on what time of day it is and all that stuff, how fast the market's moving, um, it would take some time to kind of go to fruition here. Let's see. Uh, and this should start going down. One, two, three, four. Like when it gets past, like I would say, like eight or something like that, starts going eight, nine, and ten that are in profit. Then you pretty much kind of close it. I mean, I kind of watch for the the top number and the bottom number. Now these are just gaps because these are trades that were just opened and the largest is always going to be GBP, AUD, or GBP, NZD because the spread is wider. It's not that it's moving necessarily away from you so much. It's because the spread, you just got into the trade. You don't really know really what's going on until it sits for a while. You let it sit for a while and then you slowly start to see um, some of the numbers uh, go in the uh, green or the black or the blue, whatever you want to call it. Um, on down the list and get closer and closer to uh, a profit. Um, after a while, I like to check the top, bottom, top number, bottom number, and I rate it for how many are above the, that bottom number. Um, you can still profit if this top number is less than this bottom number, but that's not the best scenario. The best scenarios that I have is I have had, you know, one, two, three, maybe even four numbers uh, higher than just this one number at the bottom. That's when it's very, very good, but that's not that's not often. Um, win rate, win rate is around. I would say, I mean, cause I, it's random. I pick different times and stuff like that, so. Uh, pick different, um, what do you call it, uh, time, like like pivot points. Okay, I'll call it pivot points. I pick different pivot points, um, stuff like that. So, I mean, for me, it's, I've been doing it for a year now. Uh, it's roughly, because my losses are always smaller than my wins. So, but, but. It's about maybe, I'd say 70, 60, 70 percent winning. Um, but sometimes the losers can turn into wins. Like my biggest win was I made 100 percent gain in one month. I just left. It. I never came back and I checked it at 30 days and it was up 100 um, percent. And that was it. in the beginning. It was really losing. Like it was like so bad. Like it was like in the dump. Like, I was like, yo, you know what I mean? I said, man, like, this was down, like, 3,000. Like, it was on 100,000. It was down, like, three, four, five thousand, 5,000, so like, four, five, or something like that. And I had, I don't know what how high this was, but I left it. I came back. It was a 200 grand. It was, like, 199. Was it 200? It was 200 grand. It, was, it grew 100%. I mean, that's if you leave it. I mean, you, you know, so you do what you want with it, but... That's basically how it goes, and that is sentiment. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section below. We're going to see if I can go over this. Um, if I could show you, see how this is going. Uh, I restarted this. Let's see how that number is bigger. So these I closed these in profit. Um, 
like a few minutes ago. It was just a little bit. It wasn't nothing major. So I wanted to make these larger, so I closed all of these. That's this one. It's good, which is good. It's good. It took like two hours for it to go like 75, like go opposite, and it was like $80 or whatever. It took like how many hours? Three. I don't know how long. It was like four, three, four hours, something like that. Um, and I closed them. But these are the live accounts. And that's it. Um, this one's larger, I think, right? This one should be larger. Right. Oh, no, to close this. I'm glad I saw that. Good thing I checked it. So, yeah, because this one had dropped. I lost money on this one. So we're trying to bring that. So I'm going to bring that back. I, was, I did some big stuff. I like I made too big of a lot size. I made a mistake, closed it. It was crazy. <sighs> Even typing these numbers in, you know, I don't have, like, I turned the confirmation off. It's like a one-click trading. Like, one-click trading is, has cost me. But anyway, um, that's all I have is die hard now. So, um, but that's it. That's all for now. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.